I first walked into the school, I thought it was amazing. We've seen some pretty big changes of our students. Our students take pride in their learning environment. They know that this school was built for them. They know that this is a place that's meant for children to be able to be engaged and create and to know that this is a place that the people here care deeply about each and every one of our students. We see that students have fun when they come here. They have teachers that make sure that this is a fun place for them to be. We have students who know that they belong in this space and with each other and that they have significance. The work that they do each and every day is significant because of making sure that it's just right for their learning style. What I like about this school is it's the most recyclable school in the entire state. It's pretty cool we have a garden on the roof. From the beginning of the process, Lake Mills brought together a visionary team uh, and that allowed us to really design the building from the inside out. We sat down with that visionary team and said, how do you teach on a day-to-day -day basis and how does your existing facility create a barrier for, towards you doing what you really want to do? And then with that visionary team and with the administration, we diagram potential solutions. What if we did this? Would this work better for how you educate or would this work better? And with that team collaborating together with the owner, I think we were able, really able to re-envision what the educational environment should be. So rather than trying to fit something else into the square box that everyone knows as a school, it allowed us to start over from the ground up. See, you see those walls over there? Those walls were supposed to be painted like the sky. And the tabs that are coming down from there were supposed to be clouds. The blue cushion there is supposed to be a lake. And these bookshelves that wind is called a winding river. The old lunchroom was like a cardboard box. No windows. It was even covered like a cardboard box. This one, one entire wall is covered with windows. The type of facility that we've constructed here, it's something that's pretty unique right now in the educational market. Very 21st century learning space, flexible learning, flexible furniture, very you know, progressive in how they're educating their students. So it's something that I think we're going to continue to see throughout the educational market. The classrooms themselves have movable walls between them, so they pop into each other's classroom for small things, but then also for bigger ways to be able to share kids, to be able to share ideas, to work together in really collaborative ways to best meet the needs of our students. Well, there's been a lot of changes. Many years ago, kids were asked to sit for long periods of time, and now we're up every 12 to 20 minutes moving, whether it's to move our learning space or it's to get up and dance or to play a game, have a brain break. It's all throughout the day. Students are able to find learning environments that best meet their needs. From the furniture, we have chairs that have wheels that gives them the movement they need. They have different wiggle stools that they can use. They have standard chairs that they can also be in. And so all of those pieces of the environment, the furniture, they can find a space that they are best able to learn and that has increased their engagement. I feel my friends from I think, like Waterloo or something and they're like, oh, I wish I could go there. I love the new teaching space. It's not only beautiful to look at, it's purposeful and practical to use every day.